Talking of Keir Dulé, yes. Um, what what was what was his story up until this point? He was David and Lisa. Was, yes, uh, was was yes. what, what brought he, him to? He's um, fantastic in David and Lisa, but he is playing a very similar character to this, a a someone who is ill. Yeah, I'm afraid he was typecast. I don't know to what extent. You never know what to what extent the actor is really the cause of their typecasting in a way because of the way they act or the way they come across or whether a couple of significant roles kind of identify them with a the type of character so much that they then can't break free of that. But he was definitely typecast as psychologically disturbed young men. Hmm. Um, and I'm sure that Kubrick, his most famous film, of course, is 2001, A Space Odyssey. And I'm sure that Kubrick uh, saw this film. Um, in particular. Well, he has... It, Keir Dulé is a very unusual actor. He has some quirks that are striking. You know, he has that, like, overly precise diction, and he always looks like he's kind of in pain or about to burst into tears and is very, very stiff and almost robotic, which I think would have attracted Kubrick for sure for 2001. Um, you know, I think he's... A good actor, but for some reason, and I don't know if we would blame Preminger or if it was just something that that Keir Delay was unable to do, or if it's a flaw in the screenplay. He he, you know, seems fairly obviously up to no good from quite early on. Yeah, well, there are again uh, people who've written about this film who have who have asked whether again Preminger is deliberately casting at. A, actors who are slightly inadequate in order to get a certain effect. I don't know. I think Kubrick did that, as you said, deliberately. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Preminger is doing that deli deliberately. 